This is our second video on differentiability. F is drawn above. What I want you to see is that there's a curve coming into a line, back to a curve, and into a line. All of this is continuous. Hopefully you recognize from before, there's a cusp here and a cusp here. And so you would probably say, if we called this A and this B, that F prime of A and F prime of B do not exist. Okay, but one thing that was frequently missed on your final exam was what that really means when you were to draw the derivative. So we're going to draw this, I'd like you to draw it together. Hopefully you can see that the slope coming in from the left at our cusp is approaching zero. It doesn't get to zero because we don't approach from the left and the right, but it's approaching. So I'm going to draw coming into zero, and I'm going to put an open circle and it looks like maybe that slope there is, I don't know, 4. So I'll say right here it looks like we would be about 4. So this would be the shape of my derivative. Now the slope of this is meant to be negative 1. So I will draw an open circle from A to this next point here. And there is a derivative right at this juncture because hopefully you can see the tangents from both left and right match. Then this derivative of the new curve quickly gets to zero at about right here. So I could continue on with my derivative up to this next cusp where I'd have to draw an open circle because right there I can't draw a tangent. This slope m was meant to be negative one half so I can pick up here and draw a slope a value of negative one half on the derivative because everywhere the original function slope will equal the derivative. So now I want to highlight some of the key takeaways we've drawn the derivative from the original function. Number one, a cusp corner f prime of x does not exist. Another thing that means the same thing as f prime doesn't exist at a cusp or corner is that f prime of x is discontinuous at a cusp slash corner. And you can see that here. Everywhere we had a cusp, our derivative is not continuous. So those mean the same thing. One and two are synonymous. It was asked that way in your final, and many of you missed that. A couple other things to keep in mind. If you go from a line to a curve, you can be smooth. So line to curve can be smooth as long as the derivative from the left equals the derivative to the right. Like if we call this point C, C is a great example of that. Number four, the corollary of two is also true. If f prime of x is continuous, then f of x will be smooth or differentiable. So if we look over here, the derivative has a cusp, right? We would call this a corner or a cusp. It's really a corner because things are straight. 
and yet the original function was smooth. So if f prime of x is continuous, it doesn't matter. OK to have a cusp just has to be continuous, and the original function will be differentiable. So given what we've just discussed, I've drawn f prime of x. So given the derivative, I want you to sketch the original function. Pause the video, try this, and then check it with my response. Okay, a couple things to recognize. First of all, our discontinuities will be where we have cusps. Another couple things that are important, this is the minimum of the derivative, so we're going to have a point of inflection here. We're going to have a max, because we're going positive, zero, negative. This will be a min, and this will be back to, uh, this will be another min. So I'm going to scroll down and give some space for this. I'll start at my point of inflection. Arbitrarily, I'll put it here, and I'll put a dot at a max, and put a dot down here at a min. We'll be concave down until our point of inflection. Then we'll be concave up to our cusp. And we've got negative slope going out of our cusp. I'm going to draw it in red. Another min. Notice that min lines up like that. Let me just draw it a little bit better. And then notice, this is m equals negative 2. So I can actually go down 2 over 1 and draw the next part of this. It's going to be linear because the derivative is constant. Constant at negative 2. So that's a pretty good sketch of what the original function f must look like.